Okay, Anarch uh, right. So Internet Anarchist, I think it's got a new video on Mr. Beast, right? Okay, so yeah, I wanted to watch this. I know it says, <laughs> I don't know why it has a red line already. Um, it's like I already watched it, but I didn't. I just saved it to my watch later. Um, but yeah, dude, let's check this out, dude. The satisfying downfall of Mr. Beast. Holy shit, guys, this is gonna be crazy. The satisfying downfall of Mr. Beast by the Internet Anarchist, dude. Let's check this out. So I actually made a video on um. Ava Chris Tyson drama recently. I haven't done a video on Mr. Beast or did I do a video? I don't remember. <laughs> I probably I think I might have done. It. I think I might have mentioned Mr. Beast in my Chris Chris Tyson video. Um yeah, you can check that out on the channel if you want. But uh yeah, let's check. I've been dying to see this, man. Oh crap, it's 46 minutes. Holy crap. All right, we're in for the long run, guys. Here we go. Full screen, baby. Mr. Beast is currently trying to undergo the biggest cover-up in YouTube history, with alleged cease and desist letters, deleted comments, and character assassination. This comes after ex-Mr. Beast employee Dogpack404, also known as Dawson, uploaded yeah, two yeah. videos accusing Mr. Beast. Dude, I actually, uh, dude, this guy came out of nowhere, and I watched, I watched both of these videos in the full length. It was crazy. I worked for Mr. Beast. He's a fraud, and I worked for Mr. Beast. He's a psychopath. And the thumbnails are so crazy, dude. Um, but they were pretty interesting videos, I have to say. Um, we'll just have to wait for Jimmy to, I get Mr. Beast to come out. I think there's a third video coming out soon, and I think he's going to make like a statement after the third video comes out, is what I'm aware of. ...of having a predator on his team, as well as other unethical, fraudulent, and criminal activities. But are these allegations real, or is this all simply a big ploy to smear the reputation of YouTube's most popular creator? Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. Mm. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today... We're yeah, dude, this guy's really good. ...the Mr. Beast situation. It goes without saying, but Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy Donaldson, is an extremely popular individual, being the most subscribed YouTuber with a staggering 308 million subscribers. Dude, that is actually crazy. Do you know, like, being the community for combining act 308 million. 308, gee, I live in Japan, which has a population of 125 million. That's literally more than double the population of Japan. Just subscribe to one YouTuber. That's actually insane. Look at the video views. Wait, who's this guy? Oh, what is this? 260, oh, this must be T-Series, right? Or Cocomelon or something. Video views, 55, 56 billion, dude. That is insane. Million subscribers. Jimmy built a reputation in the YouTube community for combining acts of extreme generosity with interesting challenges. Well, I'm a YouTuber. I mean, you can see the camera. And so I'm just, it's a series where I just, you oh know. Oh my God, he looks so young be here. Be nice and just give people some help. So uh, it's about $10,000. Not Although Jimmy's only a year younger than me. Jimmy's YouTube empire has recently come under fire following the release of several damning allegations regarding him and his best friend Chris Tyson. Mm -hmm. On one hand, Chris is yep. facing backlash for alleged inappropriate interactions with minors on a Discord. Oh, I forgot he did a video on Chris too. I actually watched that on my own time. I didn't watch it on stream, but that was that was a good video, I have to say. Um, and then I, of course I made it go check out my video if you want to, <laughs> but so many people have like commented on the Chris Tyson situation. Uh, if you don't know, first of all, if you don't know what's going on, he's probably going to explain it. But so I think Ava Chris Tyson, uh, recently tr trans transitioned to a woman was from a man, Chris Tyson, Mr. Beast's childhood friend. Um, he was, uh, there were some allegations. He was accused of grooming minors on like discord, I believe. Uh, and yeah, it just it just went crazy uh, that came right after all the dr. Disrespect drama as well And then now the Jimmy Jimmy mr. Beast uh, Drama is happening and it's just crazy. It's like drama after drama after drama. It just never stops dude Whatsoever, which I've already uploaded a full video talking about on the other hand Jimmy is being accused of faking key elements of his videos and profiting off fans through shady tactics like illegal lotteries The majority of the accusations leveled against Jimmy would come from one of his former employees Dogpack 404 on the 24th of July 2024 Dogpack uploaded a video titled I worked for mr. Beast He's a fraud which started with the claim that Jimmy was deliberately manipulating the psychology of young viewers and had been rigging certain in portions of his videos. Uh, hi, I wanted to provide some context to this video. <laughs> right. Okay. So first of all, this was this guy's first video, and if you're trying to trying to come out as a credible source, this is not the way to do it. You don't come out on the camera on the on the camera being like <gasps> with his people super dilated, by the way. Um, and he's like, oh my god, oh my god, that's that's not that doesn't speak credible. So that's probably not a good idea by him to do that. <laughs> but oh well.
I'm a former Mr. Beast employee, and today I am alleging that the company uh, rigged videos and uh, did illegal lotteries and sold fake signatures. I, I would consider that fraud, okay? Thank you. Enjoy the video. Dawson continued the video by outlining the steps of how the Mr. Beast brand was using reward-based psychology to get young viewers to act in a certain manner. Now, Mr. Beast intentionally manipulates these children's vulnerable minds for profit using uh, three simple steps, which closely align with the three major types of behavioral learning. Step one is getting the viewer to associate the brand with trust and authority. Mr. Beast videos are real, and he's a yep. great guy that gives away big rewards yep. to his loyal followers. I will show you irrefutable <clears throat> evidence in a minute that his videos are in fact fake. Step two is showing the viewers <clears throat> that when people interact with Mr. Beast in a way that benefits Mr. Beast, when they do what he tells them to do, they win big rewards. Following this, dog So I think, let me, I'm sorry, pausing all the time, but you know, reaction here. <laughs> I think the thing with like YouTube videos though is like, I don't know if it's such a big deal that it's faked, right? Cause like, I mean, a lot of you, dude, all, so much YouTube content is faked already. People are kind of, I mean, it, I don't know what, if they expected the videos to be completely real. I mean, they have to fake some stuff. I mean, it's understandable. Like it's, it doesn't have to be completely not fake. I, I mean, I, I, there's no YouTube video that's like not, that's completely not fake, dude. <laughs> of that kind of type of video. Pack pointed out several inconsistencies and rigged scenarios in a number of Jimmy's previous videos. Also, if, if what we had to film was scripted, you know, cause what we do is not scripted. So you have to plan for a bunch of variables that you can't control, blah, blah. If what we did was scripted, holy shit, this stuff would be easy to pump out. Have you ever faked a video? No. But this train track is CGI, these bus wheels are CGI, this explosion is fake, this shredder is CGI, this car is digitally lifted, this pit is fake, this guy is fake, yeah, this but... raccoon is a paid actor, this island costs more than a dollar, this city is not abandoned, these buildings are CGI, it's not your only way out, you can literally get an Uber. I, okay, well, the, I can understand the Uber thing, that's kind of weird, <laughs> that's kind of dumb, but, um, dude, the CGI stuff, though, I don't, it doesn't really bother me, I don't see, why would it bother people, like, I mean, he wants to make, he wants to add CGI, like, explosives and, trains and stuff for like visual effects right to make the video even better so i'm, I'm not sure I, i'm a, I'm agreeing with his point on this i mean that's part of the video being fake is completely fine with me to be honest we're to the airport for 20 dollars. that's not a lurker it's just a guy this whole room is fake this contestant is an actor and a secret employee at mr beast they had him die through this fake door twice this line is scripted this action is scripted uh, in fact pretty much all the videos with mac are scripted including some extra touches to a challenge video in post-production was one thing but outright influencing the outcome of said challenge or contest was a completely different story. Okay, so Mr. Beast fabricates some contestant dialogue and timers and movements and storylines <clears throat> and uses a bunch of shitty CGI, but who really cares? I mean, the videos are just for entertainment only, right? I mean, it's not yeah. like he's ever rigged the results of a challenge. That would be impossible because he films with hundreds of random subscribers, right? Wrong. Let's look at this video. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. So many people had jobs. Oh, that contestant had to get out for her job? I guess you forgot she's your hiring manager. I actually Ooh. recognize a lot of people in this video, including Jimmy's own girlfriend. So yeah, the random subscribers you see in challenges are actually never random. They're almost always local to Mr. Beast and oftentimes friends and family of Mr. Beast employees or just the employees themselves. In addition to this, dog pack shed a mess. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't think I like that much. <laughs> I think I, I mean, if you're going to say that the video is for random subscribers, it should be random subscribers. Uh not people that you know. I completely agree with that. That's kind of like a no-go for me. I think you need to follow through on that kind of stuff. Just my opinion message from another former employee who claimed that the Mr. Beast crew decided to rig the contest to avoid a PR problem. According to a former Mr. Beast employee, it would have been a PR problem if the boys had won by a lot. And because so many of the female contestants were Mr. Beast employees mm. who got out immediately, production stepped in to actually make the results of the challenge closer. Uh, you can actually see some of this happen on camera, like when Jimmy pays one of the boys $10,000 to leave, which is twice as much as the actual prize money. Uh, but doesn't make the same offer to the girls. The boys are blowing you out of the water. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. Now, if you don't win, that was all for nothing. At another point, he gives the girls a camera drone so they would have been able to see how many boys were left. It doesn't work out, but seeing how much they're willing to help them on camera, I'm willing to believe that they did, in fact, help them off camera. The authenticity of Mr. Beast's videos wasn't the only thing being called into question, as Dog Pack also presented allegations of him exploiting young viewers through illegal lotteries and other dubious marketing 
Yeah, that was a bad, so that was kind of a weird thing. Some of the ways that Mr. Beast lies to build trust with his audience, I want to go on to explain how he exploits that trust for profit through running illegal lotteries, selling fake signatures, giving children diabetes and- Okay, so, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna talk about this later, but the illegal lottery thing, the illegal lottery thing, it might, uh, in my, in my understanding, it might only apply to like actual uh, t television uh, game shows um, and not YouTube. I think that I I'm not sure about the legalities of it though. More. It's worth noting that at least in the US, it's illegal for anyone besides the government to hold a lottery. The textbook oh, okay. definition of a lottery is anything that includes the opportunity or chance to win a valuable prize and requires a form of payment to enter. A typical giveaway would have to eliminate any barrier to entry or monetary requirement to be considered legal. According to Dogpack, Mr. Beast used giveaways to incentivize young viewers into buying more of his merch and other projects. Of our limited yeah. edition uh, 40 mil special shirts, we're celebrating 40 million subscribers with a really big video then we will sign that shirt and some of them will get random prizes like this in 10 minutes right because we gotta give them time to, to do their car we'll give two orders five hundred dollars each five minutes someone's getting three grand in their someone in five minutes we're gonna do the same thing again we're gonna put a thousand dollars in a random order two minutes newest order gets two thousand dollars good luck everybody so this was a six hour live stream uh they took it down off youtube but five oh. hours of it are still up they on took it Facebook down page uh, and during those five hours i counted 46 illegal lotteries throughout the stream jimmy would claim that he'd include something with the most recent orders and that he was giving away too many prizes to make a profit something that dog pack alleged wasn't possible we need to stop giving everyone something we just like, lost, like seven almost grand. everything almost everything that someone's bought we put something in their package i'm not gonna make so money in five hours they gave away about fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff uh, wow sold over fifty thousand t-shirts selling these t-shirts at 42 dollars each profit margin jesus would be about christ 22 dollars but even if they were making like one dollar per shirt they would still be fine uh, also by my estimates only one in every 1600 orders actually won a prize and i guarantee he has real-time analytics on his laptop he knows they make more money every time he says Oh my God, guys, we're giving away so much stuff. We're not even going to make a profit. Please, don't you want me to make a profit? The giveaway stream was seemingly not an isolated incident, as Mr. Beast repeated the strategy multiple times on mm. a much larger scale. Four months later, Mr. Beast signed shirts again, but this time it was a 24-hour live. Oh, I remember the shirt signing stuff. Isn't that where, like, they, they actually caught the guy of Jimmy not signing it himself, but some other guy signing... Mr. Beast's signature on the shirt instead of Mr. Beast. Oh, hey. Angie. A N G A N G I E. Hey, that's almost my name, but with an N. Hello. What are we watching? Welcome to the YouTube stream. We are watching uh, The Satisfying Downfall of Mr. Beast by the Internet Anarchist. We're just watching some YouTube tonight. Um, on the tw I'm on Twitch as well. Hey, welcome. Live stream with way more illegal lotteries and by the way the rest of these streams were taken down Fantastic, shortly after thanks. upload so all i have is some old clips and reddit threads talking about them and now this stream did say we are doing a ton of giveaways no purchase necessary in the description uh but to be eligible to win most prizes you had to make a purchase oh, would, yes. would you guys prefer would you prefer that we throw money in random orders or that we throw items in random orders yeah somebody screamed in chat i want to switch Hey. Buy a shirt. In 30 minutes, we are giving away my car to someone that buys merch. Dogpack also stated mm. that there were other aspects of the stream that was misleading, such as Mr. Beast not even signing some of the t-shirts himself. It does say this limited t-shirt yeah, yeah, signed this is what by it's coming Mr. At. Beast and crew, uh, but the description says it's signed by a member of the Mr. Beast crew. Ah, group. fine and print, guys. It doesn't guys. say anywhere that other members will sign MB, deceiving people into believing it was signed by Mr. Beast. So here's a clip of Tyler. Oh yeah, this is it. Look, this guy, Tyler, I think. Yeah, yeah, he signs Mr. Beast's signature himself. Not So it, the shirt is not actually signed by Mr. Beast. And then I think he's like on the, it happened on stream, right? So I think that there was like a crazy reaction where I think Tariq is his name, the guy to the left. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Tyler forging, or not, maybe not forging, using Mr. Beast's signature. So Tyler signs MB, which is Mr. B's signature. Yeah. Then he covers it, signs his own initials, uh -huh. TC, 
smirks, looks around, and then quickly slides Ooh, the shirt away. Slide of hand. Could you make it any more obvious? If these weren't already signs that Mr. Beast was He's got that slide of hand perk on. audience to gambling, he almost worked with a predatory sponsor called Mystery Box. That was about three years or two and a half years ago and I started. Oh, so wow. So are they kind of scamming people? No, I don't think they scam people, but it was like, you know, it's, they're talking about the, basically they were talking about illegal lotteries on, uh, which is, well, lot, yeah, illegal lotteries, which is not okay. You can't just give away stuff with the money, like mon like monetization incentives. I'm not sure of the legalities of it, but yeah, I don't know if they're scamming people, but the, I mean, the shirts were signed, but they just weren't signed by Mr. B. So I guess uh, it's kind of scammy, I guess working with Jimmy what was becoming really popular were these like mystery loot crate like internet mm -hmm. sites where you it's basically like CSGO skins but you'd go on and be like here's the supreme box and you'd pay $50 oh, for it and remember it yeah was like, didn't write rice gum did uh, yeah quite a few Paul. people yeah. yes yeah 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 they got a lot of hate for that right. Jimmy Ooh. was um, he wanted to work with that company when he heard about it because it was a lot of money and we wanted to give that money away in a video and I, I had to talk him back on it I was like listen we're not promoting gambling yeah, I think yeah, people yeah. are going to see this you negatively. can't do that so it was yeah. a long conversation that him and I had to have which eventually <clears> we passed on the deal and then Jake Paul and Rice Gum ended up doing that deal and got a lot of hate for yeah, it yeah 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 I remember that alleging other Mr. Beast products such as Feastables had gambling adjacent elements because they included the chance of getting a ticket that could be redeemed for other prizes my manager literally said at one point that they wanted to associate buying a Feastables with your dream coming true wait let me see that predatory advertising predatory advertising or Predatory marketing can be largely understood as the practice of manipulating vulnerable persons or populations into unfavorable, unfavorable market transactions through the undisclosed exploitation of these vulnerabilities. Predatory advertising. Okay, so I guess that's what's happening here. Pitching ideas like, you know, buy a Feastables, win 10K, uh, buy a Feastables out of a vending machine, and the vending machine just starts spitting out money. Buy a Feastables and it has yeah. a ticket to Disney World, whatever, right? And I don't want to put a lot of like hearsay into this video. You should just believe the receipts that I'm showing you and not what I'm saying. But I swear to God, I said to somebody at the company, I feel like Feastables is 70% a chocolate company and 30% a lottery targeted targeting children. Hmm. And this higher up person I'm Mr. Beast said it was probably closer to the other way around and was laughing about it. Like 70% a lottery. 30% of the chocolate company. However, Dogpack would acknowledge that Mr. Beast had a no purchase necessary clause in some of their promotional material. The only place you'll find no purchase necessary is either mm. on the Feastables Twitter account because it's a rule of the platform. Let me see that. You could win a Mr. Beast care package, Feastables. Black Friday giveaway, buy, uh, giveaway, uh, buy Feastables for a chance to win a Mr. Beast care package. No purchase, okay, that's really, no purchase neck. No purchase necessary, okay. Ends that, okay. Um, Interesting. Even still, they try to push it. Yep. No perch neck or hidden yeah, what the deep hell? in the Feastables website under a FAQ. And to enter for free, you have to mail in separate three inch by five inch hand addressed written index. It's 2024. You should be able to enter every sweepstakes of the. Yeah, yeah. What the mail in? What the hell? Cards up to 10 a day. Do you think kids are going to do that shit or just beg nah. their parents when they're at Walmart? Yeah, they're going to beg the their parents. For diabetes lottery ticket. So ain't nobody going ain't nobody going to the post office. Nobody knows how to go to the post office. Anybody who's under who under 25 years old nowadays. <laughs> I'm 27 uh, 27 by the way. And Jimmy's 26. I think he's a year younger than me. Um, there's nobody going to go to the post office. Who wants to go to the post office? Everybody wants to do everything over the internet nowadays. Nobody wants to go physically get out of their house. Go to some post office and mail in sweepstakes. What the hell? <laughs> I don't want to do that. How is this legal? How do you yeah, mail true, huh? something without making a purchase? It was apparent that Mr. Beast was yeah, because you have to you have to purchase the stamp to mail at the post. Uh, you have to purchase the stamp to mail to the um, to, uh, what is it called? Yeah, yeah, the stamp. You have to purchase the stamp at the post office. I mean, it's really cheap, but. You still have to make a purchase, technically. Oops. ...to employ some legally gray marketing tactics to boost product sales. But sadly, this wouldn't be the only time he utilized shady means to get what he wanted. The expose Ooh. video posted by Dogpack would go on to garner over 11 million views within just two weeks of being public and received an extremely positive reception from viewers. Yeah, dude, that thing went wild. I mean, that thing went crazy. And then the second video he made, 
it went even crazier. Like I think the first one got like a, uh, 10 million views in like a, a week. And then the second video he, po he posted uh, got like 11 million views in like 24 hours. It was insane. 127,000 likes and supportive comments from viewers stating, <clears throat> if this video mysteriously disappears, I've downloaded a copy. This comment serves as my confirmation that this video once existed. Bro just exposed the biggest YouTuber yeah. ever, followed by 300 million plus people. That's a hell of a 300 million is insane, as dude. Well as YouTube should be held accountable for pumping millions for these shady operators to keep exploiting kids. However, as you'd imagine, the response from Mr. Beast was not so kind, with a member of the Mr. Beast team coming forward to debunk some of Dogpack's claims, with a tweet from user Chucky stating, I want to quickly debunk some of the info hmm. in this video, since the guy who made it was on my team. It was my decision to fire him for erratic behavior. He worked at the company for less than a month and wasn't an employee for most of the videos he mentions to have knowledge on. There's so much in his video and I want to specifically address address him saying our videos are fake and staged because this is not true. I was on the set for many of these videos. You won't get into a video unless your family or friends is someone that works at Mr. Beast. This is a wild statement that can be easily proven wrong. There's probably hundreds or thousands of people who have no affiliation to friends or family of Mr. Beast's employees. Think the 456 people in Squid Game or ages 1 to 100, etc. Jimmy true. doesn't know more than like a dozen people, lol. The train track was CGI, the bus was a CGI, the pit is fake. He acts like his exposing us for using CGI to make backgrounds look cool. When we have done multiple public behind the scenes videos with So Crispy showcasing this, it's clearly not a secret. On top of that, we did drive buses in that yeah. pit and same with- yeah, yeah, so like, as I said before, like the CGI stuff doesn't really like bother me at all. I, I think that was a stupid point because dude, it's YouTube. You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> I've heard of Mr. Beast, although I've never followed him. So a lot of this information is new to me. Oh, wow. Dude, he has 300 million subscribers. <laughs> You're actually one of not one of those 300 million, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, he's like the biggest YouTuber. Uh, he's not even a YouTuber anymore. He's basically a company. Um, I like I like Mr. Beast's videos. Uh, it's just like crazy dramas happening right now, and I don't want to like I don't know what to think to, uh, until like all the videos come out and all the all this evidence is all laying on the table. Um, okay, so yeah, back to the CGI thing. Um, I think it's okay to use CGI. Dude, who the fuck cares? It's YouTube. I mean, just because you're using CGI doesn't mean it's a fake... It, well, it's a fake video if you use CGI. doesn't mean the whole video is fake. With the train you claim we didn't. The raccoon was a paid actor. The, even the raccoon was a paid actor. Clearly not an actor, lol. Island costs Dude, more than a dollar. A not raccoon true. can't be an actor, bro. For this island. You can Google Mr. Beast purchases out of Banks Island for one dollar, which stated this before the video was released. He moved into a mansion two months before being in a video, a million dollar mansion. He talks about how two months before we filmed the first Mac video that he moved into a mansion. Mac was staying- Mac, for all of you who don't know, it was the guy that was like, has the blonde hair, kind of shaggy hair that has recently come uh, on to Mr. Beast's videos, his con contest like videos recently. And he's been on like several of them, but where he's like lost, um, but he keeps coming on and people thought he was just a random guy, but apparently he lives in a mansion. And so, yeah, he was like, he moved into a mansion was the claim by dog pack two months before being in a video, a million dollar mansion at a friend's house and i'm not sure how that proves anything or why it's relevant the wink was added in post bruh he really did wink this is a flat out lie again the revenge storyline was added in post he implies 42 and 58 was scripted and not real the contestants themselves have talked about this on streams they did after the video they legit didn't like each other he also claimed 58 was on the far opposite side and didn't hear him just because he was on the other side of the room you don't think 58 heard him yell how on earth would he know not only were the results of this video completely scripted but the contestants are not random subscribers he claims that 100 boys versus 100 girls video is scripted and the proof is a random text saying it is that's it it was not scripted jimmy probably had countless people on set for that video and it would have been impossible to hide this video was not scripted i was on set for this and there was no bias for who won he also implies the video is fake because we had some employees in each team the employees in the video were there to fill in for people who tested positive for COVID last uh, minute before filming. I see. Thea, Jimmy's GF, mentioned this on the podcast over a year ago. If it wasn't for COVID, they would not have been in it. It was they mentioned by her. I remember that. Everyone else. Some random text of someone thinking it was rigged doesn't mean it's rigged. Lol. Also, I think some of the Mr. Beast giveaways are fake. We just if you watch the full dog pack video, the claims that he's addressing on Twitter, this Mr. Beast employee, 
is not the actual bad the the bad claims or not claims but allegations the bad allegations he did not address do not fake giveaways. Maybe he'll mention it later. I've been on with some of them, and I've personally been the person to connect winners with our accounting department to get paid. You also suggested we didn't spend $1 million on Samsung phones, and I can assure you we did. Another lie from you. The Mr. Beast employee would then go on to attempt to present Dogpack as an unreliable source of information by stating he claimed he was under the influence of mushrooms when filming the video. Yeah, I dude. I going on, but I don't want it to be this long. Dawson himself said on Reddit that he was on shrooms and weed when filming this video, which might explain some of the made up stuff. Yeah, when you go when you go to make a video accusing a huge YouTuber of something with allegations and you had, and you literally say that you're on shrooms and like weed or whatever. Uh, and you're on the start the video with like the wide eyed, huge dilated pupils and like in a hood and like, oh, my God, I'll be the you start the video like that. You kind of lose a lot of credibility there. That was not a good move by him, in my opinion. Dawson was only employed from March 25th, 2024, and was let go on April 19th, 2024. He was on a 90 day trial, and we ended it early and paid him out to June 25th, as we guaranteed the 90 days of pay so that he could transition into a new job. I'd appreciate it if everyone reading this could help dispel all these fake rumors by spreading this info. Jimmy spends unfathomable amounts of money and time to ensure the integrity of what he does, and I hate to see it come into question with a bunch of lies. Dawson, if you leave this up, then you're a hypocrite. With accusations uh -huh. of lies, fake evidence, and creating a baseless hit piece, it wouldn't be long before Dawson would respond in the comments, defending his original video, stating, Debunking your debunking. Good character assassination attempt. You leave out my unpaid trial period and also my time working for Idea Guys, a company for which Mr. Beast is a client. The founder of Idea Guys also had to get permission from Mr. Beast to hire me, so Weird You Guys didn't tell him that I was erratic. Also, Weed and Shrooms was an obvious joke. Jimmy doesn't know more than like a dozen huh. people. Okay. You expect people to believe this how many people do his employees know who is the contestant in the train vs pit how about lambo vs shredder how did ava's cousin justin get into the chocolate factory video or della vlogs cgi is clearly not a secret cool so when jimmy was accused of using too much cgi in train vs pit why did he deny it on twitter oh he the denied it i didn't know that Bro, you expect people to believe chris and chandler were petting an actual wild raccoon from your own source on the island the transfer tax was one dollar and the company also paid yo there's no way they they pet an actual wild raccoon yeah I, <laughs> dude a wild raccoon is gonna give you rabies dude don't don't touch that thing <laughs> $7 in tax and fees for the property. Also, you lease it back to the owner for $0. $1 plus $27 equals $28. This wink was added in post. It was. Compare that wink to the other contestant's winks in other scenes. Or none of his TikToks. His mouth always partially opens. Here, that doesn't happen because in the original footage, it was a blink, altered to match the false revenge narrative. Interesting how he didn't mention altering the timers or contestant dialogue in post. Hmm. Not only were the results of this video completely scripted, but the contestants are not random subscribers. You acknowledge that the contestants were not random subscribers. Wild raccoons can be vicious for sure. Yeah, yeah. Can be seen multiple for times sure, on man. Camera. Please watch Upper Echelon's video analyzing the case law regarding this rigging. Also, I've now heard from multiple Oh yeah, people. Upper Echelon's video is good. I, I like that video. You should watch it. Boys team that they were fed much later than the girls, and that the production team was clearly favoring the girls. Days later, on the 1st of August 2024, Dogback would reveal that he'd received a cease and desist letter Ooh, from Mr. Yeah. Beast, demanding that he would immediately take down the video, delete his Reddit, and not spread any more information relating to Mr. Beast. Dogback seemingly had no fear for the cease and desist letter, as the video would remain up. And he would tease a second edition. Yeah, he made a second one, dude. The balls. The beast even further. Amazing YouTuber Oompaville would publish a video oh, on the second yeah, of yeah. August 2024 interviewing Dogpack, where he would reveal more details surrounding Mr. Beast, with new allegations of mistreating animals during filming. Dude, the raccoon, the, in reality, it's much worse than oh, being shit. a raccoon. Okay. Yeah, it's a domestic raccoon that they brought uh... to the set, and they're like, sort of treating it like a prop they're putting it in the ceiling and then pretending like you know they just discovered it oh, yeah exactly but then there's a scene where somebody off camera takes the raccoon and like throws it onto the bed and sure what pull this clip out the <laughs> edit is very strange because the there's a zoom in and pan up so it like hides the fact that the raccoon is going on the bed jesus uh, what it's really doing is hiding the fact that someone's throwing the raccoon and then there's a voiceover in post huh did they throw it? I'm sure you could pull this clip out. The edit is very strange because there's a zoom in and pan up. Where's the raccoon? So it like hides. 
Ah, it's a zoom in. Okay. So where is it? It's coming from the right. The fact that the raccoon is going. Okay, wait. I learned this trick. Wait, how do I go? Oh, no. I messed up. No, what did I do? Okay, wait. Hold on. Oh, man. The raccoon just ran in. And there's a. Oh, here we go. Uh, but what is. Whoops. So it like hides the fact that the raccoon is going on the bed. Uh, but what it's really doing is hiding the fact that someone's throwing huh. the raccoon. And then there's a voiceover in post of Jimmy saying, Oh man, the raccoon just ran in the hotel or whatever. And they're like screaming at it and shit. So it's like almost, I wouldn't say animal abuse, but like it's, it's kind yeah. of borderline mistreatment when you're just like, Dude, don't throw a raccoon. A then... Don't throw raccoons, guys, okay? That's not cool. First of all, don't touch a raccoon. You're not really supposed to do that. Even if it's, well, I don't know. A domesticated, ra what is a domesticated raccoon? I don't think they can be domesticated, can they? <laughs> Dude, they got rabies, bro. Just yeah, that's weird. It for no reason. Dog Pack would also address his Mr. Beast non-disclosure agreement, claiming he didn't break it despite posting the video. Because actually, people think that I broke my NDA, but like 90% of that video is public information, and then like the other 10 True. is about crimes. I was like, it, it was pretty decently strategic. I don't think they would have a case, and like I've spoken with lawyers and everything, so. When discussing the cease and desist letter, Dogpack seemed unusually calm and collected about it. You, how do you feel about that? Do you feel nervous or do you feel, do you feel no, no, no. excited? I feel confident. Exo you feel- He's not excited. But... Little, 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 little nervous, a little bit. You gotta feel a little, I would be shitting myself if I were you. No, I'm not shitting myself. Well, you, 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 you're- Because it was 100% expected. It was 100% expected. Right, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, to be honest, like, it's cool to be nervous and not scared though, because uh, like, you are coming from the perspective of this is what you believe is truth and you're doing this out of good faith. Like it doesn't- Dogpack would also bring up new evidence potentially linking Chris Tyson into the alleged fake giveaways. I do have new evidence of like- They must have raised the back, the, the raccoon from a baby raccoon kit to domesticate it, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. If they, dude, I don't know who raised it, but if they did raise it from birth, I guess that would be domesticated. And if they kept up the vaccines or whatever, it wouldn't have rabies or anything. Yeah, but we don't know though. We don't know what the heck that raccoon was. It could have been anything. Potentially a, another legitimate crime, which is that I talked about the golden ticket giveaway from the Willy Wonka video and how one of those tickets went to a guy, a YouTuber called Dello Vlogs. Uh, there was a, 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 another former employee DM'd me on Twitter and he told me that there's another contestant in that video who, uh, his name is Justin and he's Ava Chris Tyson's cousin. If he Ooh, did, mm -hmm. if, if they have some explanation, like maybe the contestant True, we don't know, dropped yeah. out or something and they replaced him with him, then it could be fine. But like in a sweepstakes, if they actually, if he actually yeah. won a golden ticket, which is what the employee is telling me, then that's completely illegal because you have to disqualify your, 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 you know, family members. With no it's illegal because you have to disqualify family members. Is that true? I guess so. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know about the legalities though. No signs of dog pack backing down or removing the video. Mr. Beast would allegedly send him another cease and desist. Oh Maybe yeah, he sent a Mr. second dog one. I remember. Before. This firm has recently been retained by Mr. Beast's YouTube LLC and its founder, Jimmy Donaldson, regarding the unsettling news that you have embarked on a campaign to disparage Mr. Beast as a company and defame Jimmy Donaldson as an individual. Not only are your statements about Mr. Beast and Jimmy Donaldson untrue, they also violate their clear binding, enforceable terms. Wait, <laughs> dude. I know this is, uh, I think Dogpack po uh, made this in post, but <laughs> it would be so funny if they, act from the Mr. Beast team, that they actually added this emoji. <laughs> they actually added the, if they actually added the emoji and cease and assist final warning with this emoji, dude, that'd be hilarious. I'm sure that's not, that wasn't in the original letter though. <laughs> of your confidentiality and non-disclosure agreement with Mr. Beast, dated on March 25th, 2024. Along with the cease and desist, Dogpack would post a tweet indicating Mr. Beast may have been using intimidation techniques to scare him into silence, with a tweet reading, Also, my number got leaked, apparently from a Mr. What? Beast employee named Kaylee. I've been getting texts from former Mr. Beast employees. A text I received last night claims that James wants to have private investigators start following me and looking into my family's social media accounts to find ways to discredit that's, me. Dude, apparently that's... That's creepy, dude. His how did his number get leaked? Guy got doxxed, dude. That's not that's scary. Best narrative they have right now is that I'm a crazy drug addicted Mr. Beast super fan that got fired for trying to steal company funds. 
If this text is true, I will say, Mr. Beast, if you want to <coughs> resort to personal attacks, I'm happy to reciprocate. Or, you know, just address the evidence. With a tweet containing screenshots displaying the text reading, dude, has anyone Super Mr. Creepy, Beast contacted yeah. you about the post you're making? I've been reading the NDA over to see what I can and can't post, because I'd like to move on with my life and try having some type of social media presence, not planning on ever mentioning worked at Mr. Beast, but if it got out or I somehow accidentally mentioned it, I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna get sued to hell. Also, if you're going to post my message for proof you worked at Beast. I don't care. Just don't show my number and you can save it how you want. Also, I got your number from Kaylee. Mm. I don't have access to anything Beast, like Slack or anything. Obviously, I'm not a Beast employee. I'm a former employee. Someone else I knew told me they texted you on Reddit talking about Kaylee and Leroy. I'm not that person and I won't mention any current or former Mr. Beast employees because of... So, yeah, dude. I, yeah, the doxing, man. Dude, doxing is completely not cool, dude. It's illegal, man. You can't just dox people. That's that's a huge no no, in the internet space. Don't dox people, dude. There was a whole thing with like uh, I think like, SS Sniper Wolf and some uh, she do she doxed like some dude or something. I don't know about the details, but that was crazy. You cannot dox people. Oh hey, hey Mr. Mid M I D Mid Mr. Mid. Welcome to the YouTube chat. Thanks for joining. We're also uh, streaming on Twitch. Uh, we're just watching some YouTube, uh, chilling. Uh, yeah, sit back and relax and we're watching so we're watching a uh, satisfying downfall of mr. Beast right now Of an NDA as well as another message, which was much more disturbing reading Dawson I'm texting you anonymously <laughs> to let you know that I heard James wants to have private investigators start following you and looking into every detail of your life he wants them to reach out to your former employers, find all your social media accounts, your family's social media accounts, videos of you, anything. They already have a Google Doc listing possible ways to discredit you, including you're on drugs and have mental health problems, your mum is bipolar, you were an obsessed super Jesus. fan, you were crying begging to get your job back after they fired you, you tried stealing company funds, etc. I don't know what's true and what's not, but personally, I really think you should just take everything down ASAP. If you take it down, they'll leave you alone, with Dawson responding saying, you're trolling. You're what? trolling, bro. <laughs> Dude. What a... <laughs> Dude. What a Chad response. <laughs> The tweet also contained a screen recording displaying some of the strange and deranged messages. Following this, Dawson would also address the substance use allegations to make it clear that he was sober when recording the video. With everyone waiting to hear Mr. Beast's potential response, yeah, he's on not going to respond. August 2024. Dude, the best thing that Mr. Beast could do is just not respond at all. Like completely ignore it. Cuz that's how things just go away, like on the internet. Things die easy quickly. Uh, news gets really old and then drama just goes away like people just stop caring about it so like the best tactic would be just to stop like don't even acknowledge it and then eventually people will just forget it forget it was ever a thing like in two weeks <laughs> internet time in two weeks it's like yeah you agree yeah yeah two weeks in internet time internet time is like 20 years in real life it's ancient it's ancient history or it would upload a video titled Survive 100 Days in Nuclear Bunker Win $500,000 With the video not mentioning the recent controversy at all, viewers would flock to the comment section to express their thoughts on the allegations. However, whenever viewers seemed to leave a negative or critical comment, it would seemingly instantly disappear. With several tweets- Alright, dude, dude, so, dude, Mr. B this is what I was talking to about. To the comment section to Look, a video titled So, dude, the bro- Dude, the man posted a video like as if nothing happened. That's what I was saying. When you when there's drama, you just freaking ignore it. That's what people do. Yes, yeah, so he just completely ignored it and posted a video. Survive 100 days in nuclear bunker, win $500,000. With the video not mentioning the recent controversy at all, viewers would flock to the comment section to express their thoughts on the allegations. However, whenever viewers seemed to leave a negative or critical comment, it would seemingly instantly disappear, with several tweets being posted showing Ooh, how fast they were being that's censored. crazy. This led many users to suspect the Mr. Beast team was deliberate. I remember like Asmongold watched this video or no he didn't watch the video but it was on his stream I, I was watching him on his stream and uh he basically went on this video and commented and then like when he refreshed the page it was like gone or it was like it was gone or something crazy man people are deleting comments <laughs> Deliberately censoring negative comments. Over time, YouTube creators like Upper Echelon would conduct in-depth analysis into how and why the comment section was being altered and made what? some yeah. very shocking observations. This right here is the 36-hour period of time good. where the comment section of that latest video was scraped repeatedly and archived. 
Green is the total number of comments posted. Red is the total number of comments allowed to remain on the video. Oh, dude, look at that. I like, I love these kind of graphs. Look at that. Wow. That's a huge drop off just right there. Huge. Actively. Over that one single 36 hour period from August 4th to midway through August 5th, over 26,000 comments were deleted at Jesus. a consistent rate as well as in two very large major batches. Dude, dude that, you have to be dedicated. Like, I don't know how many people worked on that thing, on deleting comments, but 26, do you know, do you realize how big 26,000 the number is? Huge. That's like a football stadium, a half of a football stadium. In addition, we can infer a couple of things from this graph, such as the usage of automatic filters, which would explain why the rate of new comments very suddenly drops off a cliff. Wait, what was also that? What was that one? Oh my God, look at all these. Jimmy New. <laughs> Dude, Jimmy. <laughs> Wait, which, which color is Jimmy New? What is this, purple? Where is that? <laughs> look at the drop off. Doom. Jimmy New. That was about probably he knew, is saying like, alluding to that he knew about Ava Chris Tyson grooming minors or whatever. Like filters, which would explain why the rate of new comments very suddenly drops off a cliff. Also corroborated by showcasing the number of comments containing certain keywords over time. Since viewers couldn't leave critical comments, they'd simply dislike the video, which resulted in an estimated 2 million dislikes compared to just 4 million likes. Mm. We'll talk about that again later. Yeah, we're going to talk As about that. I, I, I know Mr. what Beast happened. attempted to discredit this information by claiming there were only 37,000 dislikes right. on the video within the first few hours of release. Keemstar, after deleting a post about how many dislikes the video had received, allegedly showing footage directly from Mr. Beast about the real numbers. This footage, apparently from August 3rd to 4th, showed 3 million likes, but only 37,000 dislikes, which is actually yeah. lower than the entire channel average if you look at the typical ratio of 98.2. Damn, that's a good average, dude. My channel, for perspective, my I mean, I'm a small channel, but my channel average is 87%. People dislike my videos all the time. They don't like my videos. <laughs> Like the video, please. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Versus 98.8%. Keemstar firmly asserts that he was not lied to, he was not misled, and that he believes these numbers are fully accurate. But I would like to assert my opinion that these numbers are in no way, shape, or form even close to accurate. True. Especially when you consider and understand hey, thanks for the, the like. <laughs> full scope of what's going on behind the scenes. Altering comments and obscuring dislikes. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I can see in my YouTube analytics... Um, it's too much, too much work to pull it up right now to show you guys, but basically there's a, there's a, oops, there's a Chrome. Oh, liked and sub. Hey, thanks so much, bro. Dude, we're at like 995 subscribers or five people away from 1000. Dude, we're almost, we're almost at 1000 bros. Anyway, <laughs> so dude, there's an actually, there's a Chrome extension that lets you see the dislikes, right? But that thing is severely inaccurate. It's like 90% inaccuracy because when I put that thing on, and I looked at one of my videos because I can see the dislikes on my videos because I have the analytics. It was completely wrong. Like I had, let's say I had like 10 likes and one dislike in the um, analytics, right? And then in the with the Chrome extension, if I logged on as a, a incognito or whatever and put the Chrome extension on and looked at the video on YouTube, it had 10 likes and like eight dislikes. That's a set, that's like huge 90% difference. Seven dislikes, but it's not even true, it's fake dislikes. So Mr. Beast is like correct here. This was only the tip of the iceberg as Mr. Beast and his team allegedly had gone back to edit out portions of previous videos to control the narrative. What's even more interesting is that if you go to an archived version of this video, you'll see that the length is 12 minutes and 48 seconds. However, the yep. current version on the Mr. Beast channel is 10 minutes and 26 seconds. Yep. Here's why. At roughly 9 minutes and 30 seconds in, as stated in the comments that were mass deleted, a portion of this video was cut out that showed the team in a living room and on the wall, sure enough, is a Shadman poster. The same poster that Ava Chris Tyson bragged about making a centerpiece of the living room. Mr. Beast went back to a video from six years ago. He deleted an entire month of comments as well as stealth edited a portion of the video out to hide things. By the 8th of August, Dude, that's crazy. Also, I just checked my analytics and I'm at 997, bros. It's even better than I thought. We're so close. Three people away. We might even hit a thousand in the stream, which I'll show you guys. Uh, if we do hit it, we can react to it live. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, so I'll keep an eye on it. Anyway. 2024, Dogpack uploaded the sequel to his initial expose video on Mr. Beast, which brought forward even more damning allegations. Yeah, yeah, the Before second video, dude. interrogation with former Mr. Beast employee Jake Weddle, uh, a lot has happened since my last video. Uh, after posting it, I got hundreds of messages from former Mr. Beast employees, um, and I had them all like send proof of former employment. You know, just people showing their support or telling their stories of, of you know, fake videos or unsafe practices, uh, you know, toxic workplace, stuff like that. That'd be awesome. I hope you get your thousand subs. Hey, thanks so much, Angie. Angie, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Would also Thanks for all the love Mr. and support. Beast was very aware of the current controversy and was planning to release a statement, but held back to see what else would be made public. I, and also I have like more serious allegations that I want to start covering. Uh, also, I heard from a very credible source that Mr. Beast has been sitting on a response to part one uh, because he was worried if he posted it, I would instantly respond with part two. You yeah, know, like a, that's why he stopped. Kids Bop, Kendrick Lamar versus Drake. Uh, also, I know Mr. Beast's secret CEO has been practically like harassing my people on, you know, hey, what's in part two? What, what does he know? Um, so I will just tell you, James, what will be in part three. So Ooh, you know, yeah, yeah, part three isn't people. out yet. It will be about serious allegations of, of sexual misconduct uh, in the company and your direct involvement in covering up those crimes allegedly uh, and i'll make sure to give you full credit and, and plaster your face all over the screen Ooh, when we talk about that well, dude Dogpack wasn't able to discuss dude that video is going to be insane that's probably going to get like 20 million views man oh you're in eastern washington state nice i've never been to washington state actually so is that like pacific time i guess is, what is it what time is it I'm at like 7 p.m. right now. What is it like? 7 p.m. minus 4. What is it like 3 a.m.? <laughs> what the hell? That's what happened with other Mr. Beast employees. He managed to interview a former employee named Jake Weddle, who knew what Mr. Beast was like behind closed doors. So anyway, my interview with Jake Weddle, um, I chose to interview him. 2.58 a.m. Jeez. <laughs> You're a camera and behind the Thanks scenes for joining. in 2019 and 2020. And also, what people don't know is that he came back in 2021 to be the sole contestant of a Mr. Beast video, which never got uploaded because it went Ah, dude, this badly. was crazy. He also knows about another um, portable document format who, who was working at Mr. Beast while, while actually on the registry. Dude, that, okay, that's coming up probably because it was in the second video where he interviewed the guy that, in, that appeared in the Mr. Beast video that never came out. And it's crazy. I watched that whole video myself off stream. If your YouTube channel is small, then my channel is an ant. Oh, <laughs> that's a, I mean, everybody, I mean, dude, it's okay. Dude, everybody is on their own path. You just got to do, do you, bro. I'm just doing, I have a full-time job. I'm just doing it because I love it. You know, you just got to, I mean, just doing it part-time basically. But maybe, I, you know, the whole thing I wanted to do with YouTube is just create a community. That's why I love having you guys live chat with me. Like, uh, you know, talking to a camera with nobody around, it's like I'm talking to myself, pretending I'm talking to people. You can go crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oops, hold on. My bad. Let me full screen that again. Uh, and, and I'll get more into that story at the end of the video. At the start of the interview, Jake stated that he'd been featured in several challenges and that he was part of the Mr. Beast team long enough to witness their transformation from a small channel to a media giant. I'm Jake Weddle. Uh, most people who, uh, if, you, if you know me, Here he is, Jake, Beast, yeah. I'm, I'm a deep cut. I'm in a few of the videos, uh, uh, sometimes maybe purposefully kept to the shadows a little bit. Yeah, I remember seeing him in this, what is the hide and seek video? Dude, apparently the hide and seek video was kind of rigged. Like the, the winning, the winner. I checked out your channel, by the way. 24 subs, dude. Keep it up, man. You'll get there. I started at zero. Everybody starts at zero. Just keep it up. But I'm, I'm, I'm in the what's, that, what's that Naruto say? Believe it. Believe it. Believe in yourself, and you can achieve any of your dreams. I'm glad that you said I was worried I was talking too much in the chat. No, dude. It's fine, dude. Talk more. All the time. <laughs> Uh, but I've, I've been in some videos. I've worked out a lot of them. Uh, I was there from 2019 to 2020, 2021-ish when I came back and did some more. I was there when they were authentic, and then I saw the transition to what I feel like is a company. He's like a TV show now. It went from it went from YouTuber guy with a camera to uh, 
Amazon. Jake continued by highlighting toxic patterns in the company's work culture, like employees being forced to stay in Mr. Beast's good side to avoid being mistreated, and Mr. Beast's extremely controlling attitude. The culture around mm. there was very unspoken, but there was a vibe. There was half the people who you have to go be OBI. Okay, cool. Happy, Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. The good half. And these people got random bonuses and uh, were usually moved up, had more screen time. Uh, and then there was people who, if you had a disagreement or butt heads with Jimmy or just, you didn't like it. You know, you were the other half. And uh, I consistently was in the half that Jimmy did. Jimmy doesn't like me. That's fine. I don't like him either. It's okay. Uh, oh, that's just so good to say. I don't like Jimmy. I, I hate you so much. Uh, <laughs> I hate you so much. Jeez. That's deep, bro. Uh, he didn't want anyone to get more popular or have more of a a way out necessarily. Like, oh, I'm doing my Twitch thing on the side. Don't do that because you could get famous and leave and talk about me negatively. Uh, and <laughs> I could tell that the yes men. Yeah, so there's a thing, right? People say when they're leaving a company or whatever, it's always like C, what is it? C Y O A, cover your own ass. Cause in the end, everybody only cares about themselves. <laughs> We're, you know, doing well. And uh, I was, you know, disgruntled uh, for quite some time. <laughs> so I've talked to reporters. Right, like publicly. And I've always had to choose my words very, very carefully because I don't want to say anything I don't stand behind, obviously. So I used to talk to people. I used to glaze Jimmy publicly for things I do genuinely think are true. Uh, but then it's like, well, how come you didn't talk about the working conditions? Well, I wanted a career. Things were allegedly so toxic that Jake and one of his coworkers were fired for simply asking for better compensation. I feel really guilty, but the way- Wait, so Jake, what? His coworkers were fired for simply- I wanted a career. Things were allegedly so toxic that Jake and one of his co-workers were fired for simply asking for better compensation. But Jake, I don't know, if he's referring to Jake the Viking, I remember him coming out with a video on YouTube though, like a long time ago, years ago, where he said, no, we left on good terms. So I'm very confused. Like what? It's actually not good terms. And Jake was, Jake the Viking was actually the guy on Twitter that said Jimmy knew about the Chris Tyson stuff. <laughs> I feel really guilty. I'm but confused. I shook out. Um, yeah, I was talking to this other writer, Mike, and it's fucked up, you know, that that's how the pay is, and I want you to get paid more, you know, because you deserve to get paid more. You know, I don't have a kid. Um, and he didn't want to rock the boat. He, he desperately didn't want to rock the boat. He was just, I, I like my job. I like, you know, because when you, when, you, when you grow up with, you know, nothing, not to say that he did, but I know I did, you know. You get a little something, you don't want to lose it. So he didn't want to rock the boat. But he said, hey, man, if that's how you feel, you know, like, if that's, like, I, I trust you, um, he, he stood with me. He went to that writer's, he went to that meeting with me. And I said, I said my piece, and he backed me up. And I said, I need X, Y, Z, or I'm out of here. And they said, bet, and they gave me a severance check the next day. And those are, those are actual tears, by the way. Like, he's actually upset. Like, this isn't, this isn't, like, fake crying. I can tell. This is real. It's pretty, uh, I don't know pretty sad to see to be honest but I get it like if you're in a full-time job and you need to support your family you have to stay because it's stable you can't just leave it's difficult I understand and they gave him a seventh check the next day and if I knew from Jake's perspective Mr. so you just to go on that so you feel obligated to stay because you have to you know provide um yeah, but I guess, yeah, he got the severance package, which was good, I guess. Beast's generosity is extended to his workers, but it's only shown to people who can thank him on camera. I think Jimmy wants to be the best YouTuber. I think he is laser focused on one goal. Um, and I think whatever he has to do to achieve that goal, he'll do. And I think it was the smartest decision for him mm -hmm. that he calculated because he's very good with numbers. If I donate to charity, people can't say I'm shitty. Well, he didn't. Work right? Yeah, it's a good. It's a good business decision. Like it's a logical and it's a logical answer to a to an issue. It's really sad to say he was committed to his job and the people there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I've worked in those types of jobs and had a had a son to raise. I totally get it. Yeah, I haven't had any children to raise, but I can I can under I can see how. Um, because I'm twenty. Yeah, I'm I'm still pretty young. Twenty seven. But yeah, I can see how that would be just, man, I can't, but I'm at like a loss for words. <laughs> um, 
But like in my case, it's like, you know, I'm in, I'm in a different country, right? So I have to, you know, I have a visa, so I have to work to keep the visa, obviously. So you just got to do what you got to, you got to do what you have to do, right? Work for Mr. Beast anymore, Jake still had the chance to be part of certain videos. However, one challenge in particular didn't go as planned and cost Jake much more than a paycheck. Uh, if I did do many challenges in that I got paid, I was, you know, mm -hmm. clocked in with a, with a rate and I would get paid and compensated for those. Mm. Uh, but there's one video I was in, I got, I got paid a lot for it, but it didn't, uh, it, it didn't come out. Uh, it, right. It didn't, it didn't Here come it comes. Out. It didn't go well. There, there was a video, um, this is bad. That came out probably like a year ago, something like that. It was, it was the, uh, it got a lot of hot water when it came out. It was the, uh, the like surviving like a ten thousand dollars every day you survive in solitary or surviving solitary for whatever. It was just, it was like one of those solitary confinement videos that got a lot of media attention because everybody saw the premise and thought, "What? You shouldn't do that." And if people don't know, that was the second attempt. Uh, the, the first attempt was on me. Yeah. And it, uh, it didn't go well. According to J yeah, so like that that video just didn't come out because it, it didn't. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they're about to explain it. But from my understanding, it's like they were using like they weren't they were like not like it was isolation, right? My heart goes out to this guy. Yeah, they were, um, what was it? Uh, they had him in a room, right? The I mean, obviously that video didn't come out. The one that came out was Jimmy doing it himself. What was it? Uh, so uh, what the hell was that? What the hell is that word I'm trying to think of? Solitary confinement. That's it. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So that he did the solitary confinement, but they wouldn't shut the freaking lights off. So he had no like day night cycle. So his brain was going crazy uh, to my understanding. Uh, and that's what just made him like, I think, leave after like 10 days instead of 30. And then I think like the whole thing was like he got he got like 100K out of the 300K that he was supposed to get. And it was a crazy thing. And it just kind of like mentally scarred him, I think. Jake, he'll Mr. explain Beast's it probably offered him a challenge lasting 100 days in solitary confinement getting paid ten thousand dollars per day despite the inherent risk associated with extended solitary confinement oh uh, yeah ten thousands per dollars per day so ten times ten is a hundred thousand so that makes okay so he wasn't underpaid mr beast's team assured that it would be a fun experience and that proper safety measures were already in place mm -hmm. so like a oh it's, at first it's gonna be like a luxury vacation you're gonna have like a hot tub and an ice cream machine and like part of the video is going to be you deciding Sounds great. What, what, what items am I going to get rid of, you know, today? And they had like the choice. They were like, uh, it's only going to be bad for the last like five days tops when you have like nothing left. You're the first, it's going to be like a breeze for most of it. Yeah. And uh, by the end of it, sure. after 30 days, you're going to get $300,000 because it's $10,000 a day. And I don't know, man. That's a lot of fucking money. 300, dude, I can't even imagine 100K. That's a lot. He got 100K, but to be able to have the opportunity to get 300K, who wouldn't do it? I would do it. 300K is awesome. I grew up poor in North Carolina. I said, blah, 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 excuse yeah. me, you, I'll yell dance for you if you put that kind of money in my face, sure. Sure, sure. They were like, you're gonna be locked in this room and we gotta make sure you're on all the time. We're gonna have cameras on you all the time and right. be perfect for this because you never shut the fuck up. Unfortunately, things wouldn't go to plan and Jake was left to deal with the consequences. And it got to a point where like, they weren't they weren't turning the lights off. You know, I asked them, I said, can we like have like nighttime hours? You know? Yeah, yeah. Said, here it no. is. Because it would fuck up the time lapse shots. The time lapse are what? Right. Of course, you know, cinematography, you got to get the time lapse shots. So we had to keep the lights on. That was the thing. That's a that's a lot of money, especially when you've grown up and struggling financially. Yeah, like uh, he was just saying. He what did he say? He grew up poor in North Carolina. Um, yeah. So, dude. Well, even for like for people who aren't poor, like three hundred k is huge. That's a lot of money. For middle class people too um yeah that's a lot of money especially when you're growing up and struggle financially yeah yeah yeah. so for yeah back to the time lapse so they it's like oh we gotta get the time lapse shot that's why they didn't shut the lights off apparently what me sleeping i mean not sleeping yeah i saw in other videos they did a uh, like oh you're gonna get xyz hours of sunlight oh great well, i don't know how they figured that one out i didn't have it 
Even though Jake mm. was battling sleep deprivation, an uncomfortable living environment, and exhaustion, allegedly, Mr. Beast was only concerned with getting a clip of how grateful he was to right. finally be able to pay his student loans. Gotta get the content. Would come in like every other day for like an hour, you know, to check in on me because he's doing other stuff. You know, I'm just the, the guy in the cage over here. He'll come back to me in a minute. Uh, and so he'd come by, he'd get the shots, he'd leave. Uh, sometimes he'd have a note for the director over the phone that would really piss me off. This is the note I got from the director from Jimmy uh, when I'm receiving some cash. Uh, he said, uh, Jimmy said, uh, can you say to the camera how thankful you are that now you can pay back your student loans? You know how hard it was to do a take of that? Wow. If that's true, that sucks. Wow. I'm at a loss for words. Oops. They pretend to make it genuine. The alleged damage done to Jake's mental health would become so apparent. Is Jimmy and Mr. Beast the same person? Yeah, Mr. Beast is the YouTube channel name. The guy, his real name is Jimmy. That even editors took note and were extremely concerned about his well being. I'm locked in a cage at his whim. And I have to do things to get the cash I need to live. And I got these cameras on me all the time. Also, another thing that's unrelated to what he's talking about right now. You see how he's looking down? He's like this, right? He's looking down like this. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. And he's talking like this. So when people saw that, they thought that he was reading off a script. Which I don't think so. Because... I mean, if you're if you're pondering about something very serious, I would I would look down too. While I'm thinking about it and saying it's something that's. Very, I would be like this. Yeah, I just had a you know a really rough time. I I couldn't imagine how bad it would be. Like that's how that's how you do it. Like he's not looking at a script. Maybe he has like maybe he at the least maybe he has like notes that he wrote like of stuff that he want like points that he wants to discuss. But he doesn't have a script. People were thinking that Dog Pack made a script for him uh, to read off of. I don't think that's true. And I was unwell. Let me back up. At editors. Let me back up a bit. Let's get what he's saying here. At his whim. And I have to do things to get the cash I need to live. And I got these cameras on me all the time. And I was unwell. I had editors coming up to me. Saying, you good, bud? You good, bud? And I was like, yeah, why? <laughs> Jesus. He's clearly unwell. Yeah. Uh, and he goes, uh, well, because the footage you're sending in is haunting. Because <laughs> I'm trying to be funny, but I am mentally decaying, so I'm doing bits. Someone said there is a horror cut uh, of a video in this. Sadly, this... Okay, as a fellow you like YouTuber, or well, not a fellow YouTuber, but as a streamer and a YouTuber, I just I kind of understand on a very small scale what he's talking about because like, if I'm really fucking tired and I go on a stream or do to do a YouTube video, it will show. Like I would be like, what the fuck? I'd be like really out of energy, right? So I can I can't even imagine, like in that situation, how much I. Like I, I like reversely, I think it's insane. I think it's crazy that he was able to have a reaction at all. Yeah, it's like he's recollect it's recollecting everything that happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not he reading a script. Mr. Beast to care and told Jake to get ready to run a marathon. Uh, he comes in, he wakes me up. Uh what? Marathon? And he goes, ask me why I have two briefcases. And I'm like, why do you have why do you have two briefcases? <laughs> and he goes, Oh, because this this one's for today, you yeah. know, and this one's for the challenge. And I go, that's the challenge today. He goes, you're gonna, you're gonna run a marathon. A marathon? What? You're gonna do the two, 22.6k, whatever it is. What the? You're gonna do it on that treadmill over there. Feeling pressure to. So he had to wait after like being like mentally drained. He has to run a 10k or whatever. That's crazy. Oh hey, only Hydro. Hi, welcome to the Twitch chat. First time chat. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining. I'm also streaming on YouTube. Uh yeah, we're watching uh some YouTube videos. Just chilling. Satisfying downfall of Mr. Beast. Keep the production going and no one's- By the internet anarchist. Let me back up a bit. Delus and you're gonna do it on that treadmill over there. Feeling pressure to keep the production going and not wanting to lose prize money, Jake gave in to Mr. Beast's demands and got on the treadmill. 
And so I wanted to be a good sport and I wanted to get the boost and I wanted the cash. And so I started running at 12. Um, I, I was able to take some breaks and I, I asked him, how long do I have? He goes, until I get back. <laughs> what? When's he getting back? And I'm, I'm running until 3 a.m. What? I got off the treadmill. Oh, he's really upset. Oh, the blisters I had on my feet were like, you wouldn't believe. Like, he's actually upset. Look, there's tears in his eyes. This is insane. He was all over, just these big red. I couldn't, I couldn't walk. My, my, my muscles were like, just the lactic acid. I, I, I got off the treadmill and then the people that came in to like ice my feet, you know, make sure I was good. Wow. What do you think about Mr. Beast? Um, so I, well, I liked his, I like his videos. Like I subscribed to him like before this stuff happened. And then there's also the Ava Chris Tyson drama. So I, what do I think about Mr. Beast? I think that he's, I think that he's trying to be a YouTuber, right? But I can't, I don't want to say anything until like everything has come out, right? Because there's still, apparently there's another, there's a third video from Dog Pack coming out. There was two already. Uh, apparently there's a third one coming out. I want to see that. And apparently Jimmy will, Mr. Beast will respond after that third video comes out. But I want to know, I want to wait till, to, to answer that question, I need to have all the evidence laying out in front of me to make a decision like that. Because as of now, what do I think about Mr. Beast? I think it's, I think it's insane, like the how much he's accomplished uh with his philanthropy 300 million subscribers he's done a lot of good okay um and he's gotten a lot of flack for like building wells in africa like to defend mr beast he's building he builds the wells in africa and then he gets like attacked by um an ngo non-governmental organization or something uh that helps build wells and they're like Oh, of course the you know of course the white guy comes into Africa and and has a bunch of money and builds all these wells. So they got mad uh, when he was doing a great thing, and also the blind the blind people curing the blindness. Uh, he got flack for that. It's like, dude, oops. It's like, come on, man, give the guy a break. He's trying to do something good. So what do I think about Mister Bates? I think he's a I think he's I think he means well, but he's also like taking he's he's getting a bit business like recently yeah that's fair to make a valid decision after you've had all the yeah i don't want to s all the information before you wise words yeah i don't want to say anything until i because i like mr beast right but <laughs> i don't want to say I, I you know it's kind of hard to say i'm just going to stop talking then <laughs> yeah, that's when i was like i'm done i can't i'm done i'm done i'm out i'm out i'm out i'm out oh wow well mr beast agreed to let him <clears throat> in the challenge early he didn't let jake go without making sure he wouldn't take legal action Everybody was around me, making sure I was good, making sure I was okay. Damn. But Jimmy had his like. He was sitting in the chair, turned around like an evil villain. Swear to God, everyone was looking at me, and he was like Lex Luthor over there. Lex Luthor. He turns around. He stands up. He did the. He does the exact same thing when he's pretending to have a human connection, as as if rehearsed by his lawyers. Uh, yeah, you know. He's, your mental health is the most important thing, you know, just want to make sure you're okay. And the last thing we want you to do is... I can almost hear the word sue come out of his mouth. Boom. Yes, he just, he just stopped right before it got out. Dude, that's, that's stay. heavy, that's heavy shit, bro. If that's true. I have to, I always have to say if that's true after everything, because... Yeah, it's just word, it's just, the, all the stuff is just by word of mouth of this guy for now. Statements are true, then it's apparent that Mr. Beast is almost always hyper fixated on the goal of making a good video. And this guy's traumatized, he had dude. Do to get there. This train of thought was only supported by the company's alleged stance on being told no when trying to film a video. Oh, yeah, dude, when this is crazy. People outside Mr. Beast Productions never take no at face value, dude. No means no, <laughs> everybody knows it. It's like no what you said no oh thanks oh dude thanks for the follow appreciate it on twitch only hydro thank you i just saw that thank you man uh also 
yeah, you can check my YouTube out if you want to later. Uh, it's got a lot more content on there. Anyway, uh, dude, when dealing with people outside of Mr. Beast Productions, never take, never take no at face value. It's like, it's like, can I, can I film in your restaurant? No. Okay, so that means maybe not. <laughs> if we need a store to buy everything inside of, and you can call the local Dollar Tree, and the person that answers says, no, you can't film here, that literally doesn't mean shit. Dude. Talk to other employees and see if they are fans or if any have kids that are fans. Try talking to their boss, their boss's boss. Have me DM them on Twitter and try their social team. If all avenues are exhausted and you are left with a no, that doesn't mean don't try the other Dollar Trees because the manager of those could be huge fans and willing to bend the rules. Basically what I'm trying to convey is what we call pushing through no. Don't stop because one person told you no. Stop when all conceivable options are exhausted. When the topic of Ava Tyson's situation came up, Jake shared some rumors about a PDF working at the company. Was covering stuff up. He didn't want stuff to come out. You know, mm -hmm. he was very careful about his image. You know, the tangible proof that he knew but covered it up. You know, how do you prove that, you know? Well, there was a known sex offender, registered sex offender, convicted sex offender on the register. Why do you blur that? What is, what is... It's like the ultimate salesperson's oath or something. <laughs> sex offender, registered sex offender, convicted sex offender, on the registry and everything. Who worked there? What is he blurring out? And like you, Weird. Can, you know, someone pees in public, you're on the registry. You know, you, you get it. You can still have a job after you're on the. You, that, that's not one. That's one thing. You know, you go to prison, you get rehabilitated. That's one thing. You know, like if you do your time, that's fine. I, I think we should be read to rehabilitation in this country but that guy from what i hear I, I can't confirm or deny from what i hear he's on the registry for doing some not great stuff to some underage people mm, and they knew that what for doing some not great stuff to some underage people yo want one 11 first of all 11 insane one looks like blurred pictures maybe it could be that or like maybe he just made an editing mistake i've done that before and they knew that do you uh would you like to react to my new song after this but it's german so if you want to uh so i have a by the way i have a discord if you go to my youtube channel there's a link to the discord if you join the discord i have a video recommend channel and people send links to videos for me oops for me to uh, watch and react to. So you can ch you can send it in there if you want to. And I might react to it. One is crazy, what the fuck, yeah. He's working at a channel that has underage people on and around and is targeted to underage people. When you consider the fact that the majority of Mr. Beast's audience are children, the possibility of a registered PDF being on set and in videos becomes too alarming to ignore. Strangest- Dude, I like the new trend of calling that word pdf pdf file <laughs> it's it's a good it's a good oops it's a good way to uh i don't have discord anymore ah too bad that's too bad heartbreaking yeah oh hey 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 mike hawk on the youtube welcome welcome to join our uh, thanks for joining god i can't speak english lived in japan too long uh mike hawk thanks for joining the youtube chat I'm also streaming on Twitch. Most of the Mr. Beast team were, we're just watching some YouTube, chilling out. I, I do a lot of game stuff too. Mr. Beast's audience are children. The possibility of a registered PDF being on set and in videos becomes too alarming to ignore. Stranger still, most of the Mr. Beast team were apparently aware of this and seemingly even made jokes about it. But when I was there, they called him Delaware. It's like, why, 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 do you, why do you call him Delaware? I didn't, I didn't... Oh, I heard about this guy, Delaware. Yeah, yeah. He was like the PDF file, right? Or the registered one. Uh, oh, I'm in Tokyo. No, apparently they called him Delaware because he's not allowed to go back to Delaware. That's his nickname? Colloquially? Like, you know, it's Delaware. Don't ask him why. Yeah. The fuck? At yeah, the what end the, of the fuck? Interview, Dogpack presented an audio That's not recording cool, from man. another Mr. Beast employee that alleged that the Mr. Beast team is currently trying to cover up Delaware's record. Within 24 mm. hours of Dogpack's video going live, 13 started... million, dude, I told you, look at that. 13 million views in two weeks. That's insane, bro. My highest 
view count on a video ever for a, for a long form video is 10k on my apartment tour video. By the way, if you want to check the <laughs> first video I ever made, if you want to see my current apartment um, in Japan, I'm actually moving pretty soon. Over 7 million views and forced a response from someone who used to be on the Mr. Beast team named Jake the Viking. In the Twitter post, right, Jake, Jake the Viking, would acknowledge that Delaware was a registered PDF. But not only that, but also his brother-in-law. But that ah, wasn't the whole right. story. With the tweet reading, when he was 21, a 16-year-old girl accused him and others of SA when she was 11. Hmm. Delaware took a plea deal, but there was no jail time. But he still had to register. In addition to this, Jake stated the real reason his brother-in-law was given. Dude, what is in the plea deal that allows you to do that and not go to jail? What the? I just can't understand that, I guess. In the name Delaware, reading, his nickname isn't Delaware because he can't go back to Delaware. He's from Delaware. He's been back several times. Jake also stated that Jimmy knew about Delaware's record before hiring him, reading, before being hired, Delaware sat down with Jimmy and Sue, Jimmy's mom, and explained to them everything. So yes, Jimmy knew. But again, this incident happened in 2010. Delaware was hired in 2017 slash 2018. According to Jake, the charges mm. against Delaware wouldn't be an issue for much longer and claimed he had never been a risk to children on or off set. Reading, Delaware charges are said to be dropped to this fall. Hurting kids in any way is completely unacceptable. But in the case of Delaware, I firmly believe he did nothing wrong and look forward to the day these charges are dropped. The fact that Mr. Beast hired mm. a registered PDF file to work on content he makes targeted towards children was disturbing to everyone that read it. And with all the new allegations arising every single day, yeah, dude, just imagine that. Like your channel is mostly geared towards kids, right? <sighs> yeah, not a good look, man. Seems to be a pattern in behavior coming from Jimmy, a pattern of trying yeah, to Tokyo cover is sensitive ex situations expensive. rather than acknowledge them publicly. On the 23rd of June 2024, Mr. Beast would launch a new version of his Feastables chocolates in Australia and announced a promotional campaign that offered buyers a chance to win one of 10 cars. I just launched Feastables in Australia, as you can tell by the Sydney Opera House. And to celebrate, we're gonna be giving- Dude, I'm sorry, but I know this is like his style retention editing style, but I, I hate the intro that's like, I just bought 1 million cars. Or like, I just bought an island, 100. I just, I just, I, I, sorry. I know it's a style, but I just don't, I don't like that. Sorry, I probably blew yours out. <laughs> I don't like that kind of style. I like my videos raw. Be random people that buy Feastables, this Lamborghini, and nine other cars. That's a lot of cars. Right, laser beam? That's a lot of I'm cars. I'm because I'm Australian. No joke, all you have to do, just go to your local Woolworths or any of these retailers in what Australia. What the hell is a Woolworths? A festivals bar. The promo would last from the 23rd to the 25th of June, with thousands of Australians participating in the event. In theory, this was a good way for Mr. Beast to expand his product into- Yeah, it's a good- Oh my god, dude, they have the mystery machine! What the- Oh, the Jurassic Park car! Dude, yeah, yeah, that's a- <laughs> Dude, imagine if I made, should I, should I start all my videos? If you watch my videos, it doesn't have them. Should I do it? It'd be like, welcome back to the video. Uh, what? See, I can't even do it. <laughs> I'm so fucking bad at intros. Welcome back, all you gamers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be killing 100 pigs in Minecraft. Make sure to like and subscribe. To a new market and build hype around the brand. Unfortunately, things wouldn't go to plan, with many users facing technical issues with the mini game meant to decide the winners. And I played your little game and I won. And then you told me, Bob, Bob. And if y'all don't believe me, I actually screenshot my game. Say, look, I won. Mm -hmm. But then you said, no. And what? It's <laughs> clearly a win. Screenshot my game. Bruh. Say, look, I won. But then you said, no. And when I reached out to your team, they said, sorry for the miscommunication. Get wrecked. You're not one of the registered winners. Here's 10 free spins. 10 free spins? I'd rather take the car, personally. And look, I found out I'm not the only one who's had this issue. There's actually been a lot of people on this app and other apps sharing their experiences, showing screen. Woolworths is the department store like Kohl's or JCPenney's. Ah, thank you for translating that into American for me. Screenshots of them winning and being told, sorry, not this time. So what's going on? Because I don't understand how we can play a game, win, and be told we don't win. Uh? As the promo continued, even more consumers shared videos of themselves lining up the slots, but not winning. Ooh. 
What Bruh. the fuck? This pattern of users not being registered as winners, despite winning the associated mini game, would become so frequent that it made the local news. With a headline reading, Sydney woman believed she had won the Mr. Beast car, only to be told there was an issue with her competition entry. However, once the dust had settled and the prizes had been won, one of the winners decided to share what it was like to be part of the Feastables promo. I think it was like the fifth spin that said, you've won a car. It played a video. I need you to come to the Sydney Opera House right now so we can figure out which car is yours. You better hurry. Hmm. Okay. What the fuck? I answered and then it was Jimmy. Hey, how's it going? Did you buy a Feastables bar? I did today. And you scanned the QR code on the back, right? Yeah. I did, that is correct. Okay. Yeah, well, congratulations. Yeah. You're one of our 10 winners. Oh my god, Nice. Dude. So in two days, I need you to meet me at the Sydney Opera House. Yep. I have a Lamborghini. I have Teslas, I have nice cars. You're gonna compete against nine other people at the Sydney Opera House. Yeah. And where you and where you place will decide whether you win the six figure Lambo. Alright, see you then. Bye. Bye. Dude, first of all, okay, a Lambo is cool and all, but do you know how much it costs to maintain that thing? <laughs> if you're not prepared to be able to pay for the maintenance of that thing, I wouldn't even try. Although the contestants were randomly picked, the mini game that users interacted with clearly had bugs that caused- Also, a Lambo has to have the special type of gas, which costs a lot more. ...cause it to display invalid results, causing several users to believe they'd won a car. Obviously, with all these allegations piling up, things aren't looking good for Mr. Beast. And despite the alleged removal of comments and attempt to clean up the allegations, the comment section on Mr. Beast's recent video is still negative, with comments reading, Address the allegations. Yeah, bro. We no, he's not gonna do Mr. it. Beast, as well as, Mr. Beast is a villain now. Whilst it's likely Mr. Beast <laughs> is uncancelable due to how large his audience is, and how many of them wouldn't even know the allegations existed, it's safe to say the reason and controversies have resulted in a huge hit in his reputation. And with his response being legal threats to silence people for speaking out, it seems like this will stain Mr. Beast's legacy moving forwards. Make sure you subscribe to stay updated on the situation. Yeah. Okay, man. Wow. What a crazy video. Uh, uh, dude, yeah. So obviously, dude, they're like, address the drama. Dude, he's not going to address it. The best thing to do is, like I said before, if you're actually reading Soul Discord, nice. <laughs> If you if you're in a uh, thick of drama, the best thing to do is not respond because people will forget about it. Everybody has TikTok rock brain. Internet time is a lot different than real time. If it goes like two weeks, two months, that's like dead. It's ancient internet history, basically. People will forget. So that's what he's doing. He's doing the ultimate strat, which is just to ignore it. <laughs> anyway. Banger video by Internet Anarchist. Here he is, guys. Give him, make sure to go uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm subscribed. Uh, give, I'm gonna give it a like. That's a great. That was a great video. He did a really good job. He's also he's really great at research. Um, I really recommend his channel. You guys should go check him out if you don't know who he is. Internet Anarchist. I'm gonna cut this up for uh, uh, YouTube later, so I'll, I'll like put it in the description and stuff. But yeah, go check out uh, go check out Internet Anarchist and uh, yeah.